Good morning, Prairie Dogs, and happy Monday morning. Welcome back from another exciting wet weekend, and hopefully we have better weather throughout the rest of this week. Now, let's go ahead and jump right in with my friends from Miss Mobley's class leading us in this week's Pledge of Allegiance. Ariana, Alexa, Mando. Hat is off. Right hand over your heart. That is the real. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you to our students from Ms. Mobley's class for helping lead us in this week's Pledge of Allegiance. Now, of course, it is Monday, so we are always excited for Mondays because Mondays are just marvelous here at Pioneer. So don't forget, every Monday, wear that Marvel gear to start our weeks off marvelous at Pioneer. And don't forget, also, April is we're celebrating Diversity Month. And so Remember that as we're celebrating diversity, we have a very interesting quote for us this week, which is, cultural heritage defined the uniqueness of individuals. Appreciate cultural diversity. And really, that's telling us to appreciate the, all of those uniqueness that make us us and make us unique. So as we continue to look at our celebrating our diversity and our beautifulness together, let's make sure to remember that our uniqueness helps define us, and that's what identifies our cultural diversity. So that's our quote of the week as we continue to celebrate Cultural Diversity Month. Now, thank you to Miss Mooningham for bringing us our pause room tip of the week, which is on focus. Now, focus means paying attention to one thing without getting distracted by other things around you. Think of it like a mental light switch. When you're paying attention, the light is on. You are fully focused and learning happens. When you're talking, playing, daydreaming, or distracted, that's right, that light is off. Learning does not take place. There is no kind of paying attention. You're either paying attention or you're not. That light is either on or it's off. The more you practice, the better you will get at focusing and the more you will learn. So here are five things that you can do to help you focus. Your eyes, make sure you keep your eyes on the lesson. Your ears, make sure you listen to what the teacher is saying. Your mouth, make sure you keep your mouth closed unless you're participating at that time. Your nose, make sure you're not being nosy. Make sure you point your nose towards your work and you stay focused on yourself. And your hands, keep your hands on your materials. So to go with that and to help us remember this about focus, here's a quick video about focusing on the task at hand. Remember to focus, right? It's so important to focus in class. And if the classmate try and talk to you, simply go like this. That should be a sign to them. Tell them you don't want to talk right now because you're focusing on the teacher. But also focusing on your task. Because sometimes you could be sitting in class and you're supposed to be reading a book and then you just find yourself looking around. And you're supposed to be reading. Or maybe you're supposed to be working on your math and you're doing this and you stop for a second and you start looking around and you get distracted. And so I want to help you and give you one tip on one way you can remember to focus. Do it with me. Remember to focus. That is to focus on the task at hand. One thing at a time. Focus on the task at hand. What that means is this. You usually have a lot of things you need to do, but if you focus on one thing at a time, you can get more done. So focus on your math. Don't think about recess, which can be hard. Don't think about your writing assignment, which can be hard. Don't think about going home playing video games, which can be hard too. Just focus on the task at hand, one thing at a time. Because if you focus on that thing and you give all your attention to it, you might finish a little faster than you think. One day I was at a school and I was talking to a teacher and a kid, it was recess time and he was supposed to be outside with everyone's recess, but he had to do his work first. He was missing recess and the teacher kept telling him, come on, focus, come on, focus. And finally he focused enough where he got his work done and was able to go to recess. See, that's what you want to do. You want to get your stuff done the first time. So he had to focus on the task at hand, not think about recess, not think about anything else, but to focus on the task at hand one thing at a time. If you do that, it will help you to remember to focus. So don't forget to focus. 
focus on that one thing that's in front of you right now and only that. Don't worry about anything else. Like you said, don't worry about what's going to happen at recess. Don't worry about what's happening with your next assignment. Just focus on what's right there in front of you. Don't focus about what you're going to do when you're going to get home. Stay focused on the task at hand and it'll make it easier for you. So thank you, Miss Mooningham, for this week's pause room tip on focusing. Now, band schedule, let's not forget band students that as we're getting closer to the end of the year, the band schedule has not changed. So make sure that you're bringing your instrument on the right days. We do have early release this week on Wednesday. So make sure we'll be releasing at 1255. Now, this week, we are also excited that we'll be celebrating April's Student of the Month Awards this Friday during lunch. Make sure, students, you can have one friend to enjoy lunch with. And families, we do ask you to invite, we invite you to join you. And please limit to two guests so that we have enough space for all. It's always a great time celebrating our Student of the Month. And we'll be doing that Friday for April's Student of the Month. And also on Friday, we'll have our indoor flagpole with Miss Whitfield's class leading us in the flag salute. And as always, we will have our president and vice president, Miss Christina and Asusena, leading us in the morning announcements. Now, we do have Mr. Gerardo and Mr. Donnie continuing to remind us every day, students, we need your help to make sure that our restrooms are staying clean and not damaged. We need to make sure that we're using them appropriately and they do thank you. So let's make sure that we do our best job this week for Mr. Gerardo and Mr. Donnie and making sure that we're keeping our restrooms clean and tidy. Now we do have track and field practice. It's a big week for our track and field team. They had a great results on Friday at their McSwain Invitational. So Tuesday you'll have practice and then Friday will be our Junior Olympics as well as Saturday. So athletes will be known the day will be told the days that they will be competing because of the different events. But we look forward to cheering on our Pioneer Prairie Dogs at this week's Junior Olympics. Go Prairie Dogs! And fourth and fifth grade students, this is just a reminder. A lot of you guys are doing a great job remaining on the map. Remember, make sure not to receive those infractions so that you're continuing to earn those rewards at the end of the year. And Miss Suchi wanted to give a shout out. She wanted to give a shout out and recognize Monraj. She said that he's had great progress this school year and has gained confidence at school, making uh, at school helping him to socialize and make friends. He also re recently received his yellow belt in karate. Great job, Monraj! And you can see him there with his yellow belt. Great job. Keep up the great work. All right, and if you haven't already done so, this announcement is more for our families. Kinder Roundup, make sure that you're making your appointment. The dates are there for you and the information that you need to make that appointment. So we look forward to seeing you on April 15th, 16th, 29th, and 30th. Don't forget, we still have some Pioneer Spirit Wear. It is going. We have few sizes left, but we do want to make sure that you do have a chance. So those kid sizes are $10, adult sizes are $15, and you can get those in the front office. As well as our yearbooks, okay, you can still get some yearbooks. Now, some dates have passed, but make sure that you go right on and you can get your yearbooks with the information that's there. Alrighty, Prairie Dogs, make sure that as we continue throughout the week, we always have the decision and we can make good decisions with what we do by choosing the peace path. Remember, the peace path gives us options of either talking it out, walking away, make a new friend, or get help. Remember to take those three deep breaths and calm your body before you make a poor decision. Make sure, remember, there's never a good reason to put your hands on another student. And don't forget that positive plan with you every day while you're being present at school. Make sure that you're always kind to one another. You're working hard, and that will make sure that you are successful, Prairie Dogs. All right, that's what we have for you this week. Make sure that you hold on for the birthday announcements that are coming up. And don't forget that each one of you is great. Just allow yourselves to be Prairie Dogs.